Hey guys, it is Basim Reno. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you're brand new, I am so excited that you decided to join me here today for, mm, what am I gonna call this? Am I gonna call this like the first episode of maybe a mini series? I have zero, and I mean zero idea how long this little series is going to be, but I did ask everybody over on the community tab and on Twitter if you wanted to see like a little mini series to explore the new stuff pack, Home Chef Hustle, and the response was a resounding yes. So that's what I'm gonna do. It could be like two episodes, it could be four. I really don't know. <laughs> we're just gonna kind of explore and see where it takes us. So to kick things off, this is the sim that we're gonna be playing with. I did share her again over on both of the aforementioned platforms. Her name is Gigi Akuna. I love her so freaking much. I think she's stunning. She is wearing some of the new creative sim assets that we did get with the stuff pack, including the hair and her tops, and I think some of her pants and shoes. And of course, and of course, just, just, just pause on her beautiful, cute little face. But look at those little earrings. <laughs> the little whisk, they're so cute. Oh, there we go. It's because this little tiny uh, apartment is platformed. Anyway, uh, so Gigi lives here in the city of Samaishuno. I thought this would be a great place to explore this pack because of just, well, number one, we're in the Spice District and there's so many different kinds of food and flavors to explore when you're in the city of Samaishuno. And I thought that Gigi wanted to contribute to that, though her cooking skills a little bit low at the moment. So trying to actually create certain dishes might not be possible for her quite yet. I think her cooking skills at, I've been playing a little bit to prepare for this, okay? Her cooking skills at four actually, which is pretty good considering I only played for like a day in game prior to really kicking this off. Um, I also had her early this morning. We don't have to do it now, but mm, well, we might. I don't know, I prepared a little tiny bit for this. So I had her prepare some dough and some prepped veggies in the mixer. So that's how you do that. If you're wondering, you can prep ingredients and you can do like cookie dough, you can do seafood, meat, meat substitutes, dough, batter, lactose-free batter, all that fun stuff. And the batter is mainly for, I wanna say mainly for waffles, I think is what it's for. Um, the dough can be used for pizza and some other things. So what you'll notice is that if you do use prepped ingredients, you'll be able to create certain dishes with a little bit of a discount in regards to how many simoleons it will take to actually create said dish. Now, here's the thing, okay? I have, also, if you hear a motorcycle outside, it's not my fault. That motorcycle, that motorcycle was so loud. I am frustrated. Anyway, <laughs> so Gigi has already purchased an Anywhere Any Fair food stand, as well as a Chow Bella portable pizza oven, okay? So I've done a little bit of prep. Those are some of the new small appliances and other items that we got with this pack. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna jump right in and we're gonna pop outside here and we're gonna set up our little stand because that's what I wanna do. <laughs> I wanna see how this goes. I decided to prep like a few pizzas. So we've got a margarita pizza, we have a cheese pizza. I also had her make some fried chicken sliders. Um, the franks and beans are not going to be sold at our, our little food stand, but um, I wanted to at least have a few things prepared, but she does have this pizza oven so she can actually prepare meals while she's actively conducting, is that mm, hosting? <laughs> I don't know the word. Um, hosting her little food sale here. Now, this is the food stall swatch that I chose and I have not designated the business details. So right now she's just doing a lot of like what I would consider comfort foods. You know, we've got the fried chicken sliders. We've got these awesome pizzas. I don't really know what I want to name this, but I want this icon. So if you guys did not know this, which I think is really cool, you do have the option of choosing these different icons to represent your business, and then you can actually brand your food stand. So give me some name suggestions down below because I've got nothing so far. For right now, I'm gonna put Gigi's Eats because it's all I can think about. <laughs> so Gigi's Eats. There we go. That, that that's what we've got. That's what we've got so far. And now what we want to do is we want to grab these pizzas and everything that we stored in our fridge, and we want to put them in. Oh, do we have to put them in our inventory first? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't realize we had to do that. I thought we could take it from like the fridge inventory and just toss it into the food stand, but we can't. So we have to first put all this stuff in here. I'm gonna take the prepped stuff too because we might make some additional pizzas and that dough is certainly gonna come in handy. And actually before we even stock it, let's place our pizza oven really quickly. Just that way we do have it ready to go. And then we're gonna open up here and we're gonna grab our pizzas and our chicken sliders. And then we're literally just gonna start the food, the food sale. 
And that's what it does. It starts almost like an event and there's no goals. It lasts about five hours in game. So five, mi f five minutes, is that, <laughs> is that what we're looking for? Oh, hey, hey, Arun, how'd that red velvet cupcake treat you? Do you want pizza now? Like, is that what you want? And yeah, your sim basically stands here and calls for crowds to actually purchase their food. And what we're gonna do since we're waiting is we are just gonna go ahead and make another pizza too. I think we'll do, mm, we have prepped veggies. So this is what I was talking about. So since we have some prepped ingredients, these pizzas are a little bit cheaper. Let's go with the 15 simoleon one. We'll do a sweet corn pizza because why the heck not? And hopefully she doesn't drop the dough because honestly she did that twice during my play test because her cooking skill was a little bit low, but she's feeling pretty good now. I think at cooking skill level four, which isn't too shabby. And I also want to check, you can mark up the prices. We have it at 25% right now. I'm going to try for 50 because her cheese pizza is excellent quality. The margarita pizza is normal, but the chicken sliders are also excellent. So I'm hoping that that kind of convinces people, such as Lily Fang. Hello, ma'am. You and Pari have beautiful dresses on today. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Please. Uh, you can do this. This is what I want to show you. Convince to buy. So we're going to convince her to buy, I think, the cheese pizza. We've got, what, six left, I think, is what that shows. We actually have a lot. Yeah, these pizzas are like full pizzas. I would really appreciate it if we would... Uh, get rid of some of these stuff because we ain't going to eat all these pieces ourselves. Like, <laughs> let's just, let's just be honest. Like, we're not going to eat all these pieces ourselves. Hello, Lily. Hi. Would you love this cheese pizza? It's delicious. It's actually excellent quality. Eight simoleons in the bank. We did it. And our corn pizza is actually good. And actually, it wasn't Lily who bought anything. It was Pari. <laughs> she bought some of our pizza. I think she bought some of the cheese pizza, which is great. And it seems like this pizza here, our sweet corn pizza, I think it's really good quality. So we have to collect the meal. It's normal. Okay, all right, okay, it's not great. I'm just gonna put it right into the food stall inventory and I think Gigi should go ahead and place it on the food stall at some point. Maybe when it just registers that it's been added to the inventory. Ooh, 12 simoleons and hey, Judith. Funny meeting you here. You only show up at every single event, any community lot ever in this game. Hi, how are you? We also have Penny Possess. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, I can't I can't wait to see how much we actually make because 12 8 simoleons thus far, we've at least made our money back from making one of these pizzas too, which is great. We have about three hours left of the food sale and to be completely honest, everybody's just been socializing, which is kind of good for Gigi because at the moment, uh, she doesn't have any friends. She doesn't really know anybody. Aspen over here is actually her next door neighbor. So maybe it's kind of nice that they've gotten to know each other a little bit. And her social need was like super low. So this is actually a positive um, for our girl here, but she's not really out to make friends, but maybe she could be friends with Darling Walsh. I don't know. We can convince Darling to buy. Mm. I also don't know if people are vegetarians or not. And I didn't make any vegetarian dishes. So I can't lie to you right now. Uh, maybe we'll do... Ooh, the margarita pizza is actually what's worth the most. Maybe we'll try selling that, even though the quality isn't super, super great. I don't know. Um, but we really haven't sold that much, which is kind of freaking me out a little bit because it means that we really haven't made that much money. But hopefully we can bring up our charisma skill because I believe that helps us convince other people to buy our items. And in fact, we actually do have a positive mood lit here. So Gigi is very happy right now because of a satisfied customer from selling an excellent quality meal. Gigi's meals seem to be making everyone's day, which is fantastic, positive brand association for her right now, which is great. Ooh, just now as I wasn't actually filming, I didn't even, I didn't even mention this. We have two new aspirations with this pack, by the way, and this is one of them. So we're gonna go ahead and look at this aspiration breakdown. So this is what we just, satisfied. It was, it's under the fortune category. So it's market magnate Sims with this trait. They have a booth boss trait, by the way, it's a reward trait, um, can set higher market prices and are more successful at convincing customers to buy while using food stands and sales tables, which is perfect. So we just accomplished this very first tier of the milestone, which is run a food sale from a residential lot, which we did technically, cause we're still at home and sell five excellent pizzas or waffles during a food sale. So we sold five pizzas, which is great. And now we have to run the food sale from two different lots. So perhaps tomorrow, instead of just going here in the spice district, we'll go somewhere else. And then we also have to convince customers to buy something five times during a food sale, which we've already done three times. So we're, we are kicking butts and taking names right now with this aspiration and this new pack in general. I am honestly really happy about this. 
<laughs> like, I, like I'm actually thrilled right now. Well, our food sale just ended and this is actually super great. So it gives you a breakdown of what your sales actually were for the day during that food sale. So we made 90 simoleons today, which isn't bad. Um, it's not fantastic, but it's not terrible. We sold three cheese pizza slices for 24 simoleons, five pizza margarita slices for 60, and two fried chicken sliders for six simoleons, which really isn't that significant. And it's kind of a bummer. I think what we're going to do is I'm just going to start another food sale because look at all of these people. Like, <laughs> look at all these people. Penny Pizzazz looks jazzed right now and everybody just started showing up so i want them to have the opportunity to go ahead and buy some of this food so we'll just stay open a little bit longer Gigi's needs are actually super everybody left are you kidding guys i opened up for you uh all right well um victor fang has been hanging out here a little bit too long i'm honestly just gonna tell him to go away because he's bought like five things for me and he's i don't think he's gonna buy anything else so we're gonna we're gonna tell him to skedaddle go on get get out of here and we're gonna try to sell some other things to some other people here we're gonna try to sell more of this margarita pizza because even though it's a normal quality it made us the most simoleons during our first food sale and i'm going to are we convincing you Reina, yes. I think I might even make another pizza. I don't know, I'm getting I'm getting very overzealous. And she said no to the margarita pizza. So we just failed at that. Good for us, thank you. Excellent, glad we did that. <laughs> anyway, um, maybe we'll make another pizza. I wonder if we can make any more sweet corn. And these are all a little bit out of our skill range. Let's do a pizza caliente maybe. We've got the dough, it makes it cheaper. We could also do a, a, um, a, a what's a this, a that, an herb that. <laughs> I don't want to say it wrong. I don't want to say it wrong. Um, we'll do a pizza caliente because why not? We've got the prep dough. We have to use it. It seems like our prepped veggies really aren't being used. So I guess we don't have a high enough skill yet to make some of the pizzas that may require that. Oh, please don't drop that dough. Oh, please don't drop that dough. <laughs> please, girl, you can't drop the dough on the ground in front of potential customers, please. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't. We're all good, everybody. We're all good. Maybe we'll try to convince Terrence over here to buy something too. Convince to buy. Here, can you please buy the cheese pizza? It's excellent quality. It's real good. We didn't even have to convince Penny. She just bought some of the cheese pizza. Oh, this is pretty lucrative. I mean, so here's the thing. This is my initial thoughts as the same people keep coming by to buy things. Travis Scott, hi, wait. Hello, Travis, come back. Or not. Okay. Anyway, my thoughts here, okay, so far, since her skill level is reasonably low, I mean, she's at like cooking level, I think like four, and she's had to run two collective food sales in one day, there, I think your skill level would have to be pretty high to be able to run this as a successful side hustle that's kind of like worth your time. And this is just my initial thoughts here, okay? This is not me making any definitive statements or forming opinions on this pack yet because this is my first time playing with it. So that's my thought so far because with the lower skill level and even all of the things that we are producing, she's not making money fast enough or in big enough quantities, I guess, to make this a successful side hustle. She would have to do this all day, every day to be able to make enough money for it to be equivalent to like a full-time job if she were in, let's say the culinary career or something like that. I don't know, that's just that's just kind of a thought. Though I see the simoleons starting to kind of roll in a little bit more with the $12, the $8, all that fun stuff. So that's my initial thought, maybe as she makes higher quality things and just the things that require a greater skill level in general, this will change. I don't know, okay. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. So now we've done two food sales today and we started at what, like 10 a.m. in game and now it's close to like 6.30 in game. So that, this is an all day affair, all right? And we had to make two additional pizzas. Well, not had to, but we did. Anyway, the food sale is complete and she made an additional 163 simoleons. And look at this breakdown because the pizza caliente and the, what's it called, sweet corn pizza, their higher level or require a higher cooking, cooking skill level, they seem to make us a lot more money. I mean, granted, the margarita pizza and the cheese pizza were pretty good. And these chicken sliders, like, <laughs> like they're useless. Um, but like, we didn't make 
bad money? Like that's not terrible considering this is really her first day of running the food stall in the first place. We're gonna just go ahead and clear the table and we're gonna pop this back into our inventory and call it a day because she's actually hungry herself. So we'll just head right up to our apartment, thankfully, and grab a bite to eat. That was a long day and Gigi is finally home you know, had to walk up the steps to her apartment. And she's gonna have some of her sweet corn pizza that she made today because you know what? She doesn't get to taste test a lot of her stuff because she knows that she'll just eat it all. But man, she's like, oh, I done did it. She's like, I done did it. This pizza is so good. And maybe to her, oh, it's vegetarian safe. Actually, I didn't realize that. That's kind of nice. Um, To her, like she loves flavor. I feel like Gigi grew up with a mom who was really, really proficient in the kitchen and like loved using a ton of different spices. And she tried all these different foods. And even though she may not have had like the, the inkling to be a cook or get involved with cooking and like run her own stall and stuff like this when she was younger, now that she's an adult, she has this new appreciation for it. And I just feel like, I feel like this cookbook over here, I think it's even called, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, before I, before I just talk out of my butt, pause. What is this called? This is called, this item, it's called Nana's Cookbook. Cute. It sounds like Granny's Cookbook, which was indeed, or is indeed, I should say, um, custom content, which for me is actually super fun. It's like one of my favorite pieces of custom, custom content slash mod, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, it's called Nana's Cookbook. So you know what? Maybe this was like her mother's cookbook. I don't think her mother's around anymore. And she is just trying to revitalize a lot of her mother's recipes and kind of make them her own. I feel like that's the route we're taking here. Like she wants to... She wants to make her mama proud, you know? So she's gonna try to replicate some of her recipes, but kind of put her own flair on them. I think that would be a super, a super cute idea for storytelling. Ooh, 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 ooh. Girl, put that down. <laughs> that happened earlier when she was prepping veggies and they went everywhere, it was disgusting. Also, the prepped veggies that were in her inventory, they did go bad because they weren't used for any of the pizzas. So I had to throw them all out, which was, Honestly, a waste of simoleons, which hurt my heart a little bit, but I'm gonna have her prep some dough before she goes to bed tonight. That way, if she needs to make any other pizzas tomorrow, she can do that. But I think that this is a great opportunity to actually end this very first episode. Again, I don't know how long this quote unquote series is gonna be. I have no ideas for like a story at all, aside from what I just kind of walked through. Like there's, I don't have a story in mind for this. I just want to explore the pack and see how lucrative it is and really just go from there. So I hope you all enjoyed this one. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts and I will catch you next time I post a video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Dries up and